Happy Pi Day, Chargers. Today is Monday, March 14th, 2016. She's Lizette Mosqueda. And she's Sarah Rasmussen. Today on DP News. Pi Day Celebration. Summer Study Program. Beautify DP. And more. Wake up, Chargers. It's only Monday, but DP News starts yeah. now. <laughs> A Pi Day celebration will be held today at the Downtown Library from 4.30 to 7 in Faulkner's and Children's Library. If you're interested in receiving community service, volunteers are needed from 4 to 7 p.m. Pi Day is an international celebration of math and is a great opportunity for kids to build a positive attitude around numbers. How far can you recite Pi? Cherry, pecan, apple, pumpkin. The Abbey Road Summer Study Program College Visit is at lunch on Wednesday, March 16th from 12.54 p.m. to 1.24 p.m. inside the Career Center. The program provides French, Spanish, and Italian language immersion, along with art, photography, film, and history programs in the most beautiful cities throughout Europe. Their teaching method emphasizes personalized, hands-on learning and cultural and language immersion. Homestay or apartment living accommodations are also offered living options. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach Sean Talon at sean at goabbeyroad.com. Seniors, with graduation being only 12 weeks and two days away, certain deadlines are quickly approaching and we must continue to make the best of our senior year. A great memorable activity to attend would be the Grease Poll this Friday, March 18th at lunch in the Greek. There is a mandatory meeting for teams wanting to participate today in P2. At least one member needs to attend, but the whole team is encouraged to show up. You're going down, Rassi. Probably. Seniors, don't forget that in order to graduate, you must have completed a total of 60 hours of community service. The deadline to turn in your hours is May 20th, but if you're aiming to receive the 200 plus hour award, the deadline is April 27th. Please visit the Career Center if you have any questions. Wednesday, March 16th is Kick Butts Day, put on by the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids. It is a day dedicated to fighting for tobacco-free youth and speaking out against big tobacco companies. Be sure to spread the word to your friends and to remember to remain drug-free. The next Beautify DP is taking place this Saturday, March 19th from 9 a.m. to noon. Sign up on the clipboard outside Mrs. Stone's office and meet us outside the library dressed in clothing appropriate for campus cleanup and bring a refillable water bottle. Just a reminder that for National Honor Society membership, two hours of community service is required for each semester of qualification. This can be fulfilled by attending Beautify DP. Grab your flannels and overalls chargers because the Hicktown dance is this Friday in the cafeteria. Here are Peter and Nathan with more info. sure to be a hoot. The annual Senior IB Visual Arts Shows is being held today, tomorrow, and Wednesday in room H30 and the lobby to the EPAC. Different artists will be there each day to show off their work. Here's Mr. Gleason with more information on what this event is all about. Hi everyone, my name is Maggie Miller and I'm one of the IB Art students in the higher level class. And today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, during first through fourth period and also during lunch and nutrition, the IB art students are doing their final art presentations and ex exhibitions for everyone in the school. So feel free to come by to H30 or to the EPAC during lunch or nutrition or have your teachers come by and look at four different artists in H30 and four different artists in the EPAC who are presenting their artwork. It's going to be really awesome and there are different artists every day. Is we have for you today, DP. Well, Zet and Sarah signing out. Now over to Jeffrey and Dallas with your sports report.
Hello, Dos Pueblos. I'm Dos Flannery. And I'm Jeffrey Chow, here again with your sports report. Last Friday, boys volleyball headed down to South co to compete in the Best of the West Volleyball Tournament in San Diego. Our boys played hard and competed against premier high school volleyball teams around, from around the country on the West Coast. Our team found themselves in a very competitive pool with schools like Miracosta, Modern Day, and Carlsbad, fighting hard in a competitive pool. Our boys took fourth and were relegated to the bronze division, where they ended up taking first place and receiving bronze and ended in 25th place overall. Shout out to senior Eli Sequoia Wolpat, who led the team with 57 kills, senior Adam the Viper Shields, who followed with 36 kills, sophomore Parker Homeboy Crossland had 11 straight service aces, with help from outside hitter sophomore Curran the Bet Maholtra having three solo blocks on Cathedral's backside hitter. Congrats, guys. We are the best of the worst of the best of the West. Volleyball's next game is away on Thursday at Ventura High School at 6 p.m. Baseball played against Canyon in a home double hitter, winning their first game 5-1 with pitcher Travis Craven giving up one run and striking out seven for the win. And Gio Macias and Quinn Peacock both RBIs. Then the Chargers won their second game against Canyon with a score of 5-2 with a pitcher Dylan Kelly on the mound giving up two runs and having two strikes outs for the win. Good job, guys. Their next game is tomorrow at home against Arroyo Grande. Girls Lacrosse headed to the Birmingham tournament this weekend to compete, winning their first two matches, 7-6, to six, against Valencia and Louisville. They faced Royal again after just facing them on Thursday. Our girls could not pull out the victory, but placed second in the pool, bringing home DP's very first Girls Lacrosse trophy. Good job, girls. You guys made history. Their next game is away at SM tomorrow. Track and field competed at the, the, the Ventura Invitational on Saturday. Some outstanding performances by pole vaulter Carmen Virial, who placed third with a height of 9 feet and 3 inches, and triple jumper Kevin Wynn, who placed third, jumping a distance of 40.07 inches. And congratulations to our 4x1600-meter relay team of Nathan Alvarez, Josh McGregor, Jeremiah McEwee, and Hunter Clark, who collectively placed first in their event. Our boys lapped many of the competitors and had a gap over 200 meters for their second place team and were just shy of earning a qualifying mark for Arcadia. On the topic of Arcadia, runners Hunter Clark and Christina Rice headed over to the Redondo Invitational last Friday. Clark finished the 3200 meters in 9 minutes and 30 seconds, finishing as the top non-senior in 12th place, lowering his qualifying mark for Arcadia. Rice finished the 3200 meters in 11 minutes and 18 seconds and took 11th place and also met Ar Arcadia's qualifying standards. That's all for your sports today. DP, and now over to Ann Bailey with your current events. Good morning, Dos Pueblos. 31% of freshmen and 53% of juniors have used alcohol or drugs according to the most recent results from the California Healthy Kids Survey. A group of Santa Barbara area experts gathered at Isla Vista Theater to discuss the current epidemic of prescription drug abuse. The event offered practical tips for college students, parents, educators, and others on how to save the lives of those abusing prescription painkillers. That's all for today, DP. I'm Ann Bailey, sending it over to Ashley Oaks with her other. Hey there, DP. Today's weather will be a high of 70 and a low of 52. Tomorrow's weather will be a high of 74 and a low of 53. The waves are going to be 40 low, a low of 4 feet and a high of 7 feet. Thursday is St. Patrick's Day, so don't forget to wear your green. This weekend is going to be very hot, guys, so don't forget your sunscreen. That's all the DP news we have today. See you tomorrow, guys. <laughs> 